12 times prey got revenge with their horns. Horns, kicks, and antlers. Herbivores have developed these gifts of nature as formidable weapons. From lions to hyenas and cheetahs, here are the 12 times prey got revenge on their predators. In a fight between a timid, lazy buffalo and the king of the jungle, who would you root for? Lion, right? But after seeing this, I think you might change your mind. What happened is that this buffalo was getting stalked by these lions for a long time. Sometime later, the two pounce upon the lone buffalo and begin biting it to gain control over the prey. One lion disappeared somewhere else, leaving the two alone. But meanwhile, one surprise was left for the lion as the two friends came to help their friend. Maybe the relationship dynamics were different. Eh, I don't know. Okay, we'll call them herd members. The two herd members come to the rescue. One gets so mad that it literally thrashes the lion five feet into the air by its horns. He then again lifts the whole ass lion with the horns and forces him to withdraw to his hideout. This lion surely will never mess with a buffalo ever again. Again on this spot, we have a lion. This time, it's up against a wildebeest. The king of the jungle does have a tendency to skirmish with every animal. These two lions had this wildebeest right under their control. Just when the animal decided to fight back for his life, he angrily shrugged the two lions off himself and handled one with his mighty horns badly injuring him in the process. Well, the other one didn't get it easy too, as the wildebeest also gave him some nice ass kicks. Pray for the win. This pit bull decides to have a little fun with the buffalo by considering him a lazy, timid animal, but gets the fright of his life after the animal charges at him. Look at his scared ass running away. The same happened with this one too. What do these pit bulls think of themselves? Look at your size, fellas. And this one too. He tries his best to hold his ground by constantly barking at the buffalo, but the grazing animal isn't having any. Again, we have a clan of lions, but this time the animal that kicks off is a giraffe. Yes, a giraffe who doesn't have any quality besides having very long legs. Well, we'll see how dangerous they can get. This clan of lions was gawking at this giraffe for a long time and decided to charge at him. After sensing the attack, the giraffe began running from them, but the lion successfully managed to grasp him, when all of a sudden, the animal shrugged the lion off himself and gave him one good kick in the chest before running away. The giraffe has long legs that can hurt quite a lot if the right pressure is applied. Now a cheetah entry, and this time it's a face-off with a Nyala bull. This bull gets cornered around by a group of three cheetahs who only have one single thing on their minds, and that's food. But the Nyala bull is clever, as he uses the bush for hiding his body as a survival strategy by taking a positional advantage from these hungry predators. He also uses his frontal horns to scare them off. Not gonna lie, as it really has confused this cheetah group who are unaware of their next move. Their only strategy is to try to attack again and again. This doesn't seem to be working very well. That's because the bull is using the same strategy. Whenever any cheetah comes near him, he charges at them to keep them at a distance. Why they aren't attacking the bull is because, let's face it, it's huge, and if it uses its strength and horns, it can possibly defeat them. The clip ended before giving us the full fight overview, but the Nyala bull has pretty much established its territory and will most likely survive. This rhino was just chilling, eating his food, minding his own business when some warthogs decided to intimidate him. But boy, oh boy, did they choose the wrong guy or what? The rhino seriously wasn't buying their crap and decided to teach these warthogs a good lesson by literally throwing him in the air and by using his horn. Here, a baby rhino is with his mother when some baby warthogs decided to bully him. But he, in turn, charged at them, scaring the warthogs away. This time, it's a mama buffalo versus hyenas. The buffalo gave birth to a healthy calf, but a group of hyenas came to demand the baby. The mother bravely stood by his baby, but one hyena managed to bite the baby. She still handled her ground and called on her herd for assistance. Coming on to Honey Badger versus Lion. Honey badgers look like such petite animals, but in reality, fellas have spirit. This whole lion family is after these two honey badgers, but they hold their ground by scaring away the royal family of the jungle and casually walking away. This teaches us if you're confident enough, you can scare away anybody. You know, as they say, fake it till you make it. A porcupine was crossing a road when a leopard came out and started teasing him. As you all know, porcupines have large quills that they use to injure their predators. 
This time it was this leopard's turn. Man, he was constantly bugging the poor porcupine when suddenly he got wounded. To be honest, he had it coming. But still, the leopard doesn't let go of him. Shoot him more of your quills, porcupine. I think only then will this leopard learn his lesson. Coming on to combat between a lioness and a zebra. At the start, it seems as if the zebra's gone as the lioness has full hold on him as she has clearly tackled his neck. But this zebra has a will to live. She constantly tries to get herself free. Look at her struggle to get her neck out of the predator's control. Luckily, she does eventually manage to get the situation around by getting on top. After managing to get herself free, the zebra started to give some damn good kicks to the lioness and ran away. Buffalo are a couple of badasses, aren't they? This time, these mighty beasts tackled a Nile crocodile who's very notorious for his powerful jaws. A herd of buffaloes was drinking water from the river, and upon seeing this, the crocodile decided to have one for lunch, but the guy was mistaken. He suddenly came out of the water and caught one by its neck. Now that was a sensitive spot. Still, the buffalo, with all its might, managed to drag the whole crocodile towards the land near its herd. This really confused the crocodile and decided to retreat by going back to the river. What do you guys think will win in a fight between a cheetah and a gazelle? Well, you all have read the title and are expecting the gazelle to win, so without further dramatization, let's get to the point. This cheetah spotted a nice gazelle for his lunch and started running toward it. Quite obviously, the gazelle also runs away from its prey, but he's no match for the speed of a cheetah, which is usually measured up to 75 miles per hour. The predator gets a hold of his prey, the cheetah cubs are also accompanying their mother, waiting for her to hunt down a meal for them. But the gazelle has a strong will and tries to fight his way out, even in the presence of three cheetahs. The gazelle thrusts the cheetah to the ground and runs away after injuring her badly in her abdomen. Not a good day for mommy cheetah, as her cubs will go hungry now. See you next time.